Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right to the point. Today has been a very stressful day for me, and I have gotten to a point where it's all just boiling over. What's boiling over is the aggravations and the stress that I've had to deal with for the past couple of months. Now, I figured that based on what's gonna be said in this video, that the ring would be a very suitable venue. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about certain people, but I'm not gonna be saying their names. I'm sure that if you watch my first channel, Infect UHW, and actually see the work that goes on in this ring, that you'll be able to tell who I'm talking about. Without a shadow of a doubt, every promotion from indies all the way up to the big time has their, uh, shall I say, people who, uh, their work they have their workhorses and people who just don't contribute at all. This is a video to get my aggravation off of my chest and just for me to say it on camera and to get it all out so that it stops eating at me today. People who have seen the toll that this takes on me and how pissed off I get at this nonsense. See, here's the thing. I do everything. I do everything for UHW. Everything in my fiber, my will, and the possible realm. This is what gets me so pissed off. I do everyone's match. Every match that happens in UHW is done because of me. Every spot that you see in that ring, because of me. Everything that you see that happens in this ring, every story that is told, is because of me. Video editing, me. Promotions, me. Everything, everything is because of me. I literally put together everyone's match from beginning to end on my own time. Sometimes not even my own time. I see, I think about everything every day. That's four to five matches that I have to think about every day. Four to five matches that I take credit for every day because everyone else doesn't work for it. People don't do their own damn work. That's what pisses me off. That's what this video is about. See, here's the thing, boys. And for anybody else who's out there, and they know they've got, they go through something like this where they're the only ones doing all the work, and then they get and then they get crap for it, or they they just feel like it's not working the way that it should. This video's for all of you guys, so it's dedicated. But here's the thing, boys. If you want to be the man, if you want to be at the top, if you want to actually be somebody, you work for it. But I said, there's a reason that infection is at the top. They said, well, infection, it's because you own the freaking company. No, it's not. The reason I'm at the top is because I am the best. That's the reason. Because I come into this ring and I bust my ass. I bust my ass for UHW. I've always bust my ass for professional wrestling. It's what I've wanted to do since I was 12 years old and I saw my first full length professional wrestling match. Ever since then, ever since that day, I have always wanted to be a professional wrestler. It has been my dream and I am making a reality. And boys, here's the deal. You can make all the excuses that you want, but at the end of the day, you're just not gonna be good unless you bust your ass. Being a wrestler, that's a dream for over 3,000 people every year. Without work makes for sloppy, slow, and uncoordinated matches. If you think you're just born good, no. No one's born with a silver spoon in their mouth. No one's born with natural ability. You work for it. You work for what you have. You work for what you get. It's just that simple. No, the work that goes on in this ring, majority of the ideas, me. Do I try and teach these guys how to do their work? Yes, I do. That's how I work. I try to help them out. I try to do everything I can to make them good, to make them want to be better. But see, here's the thing. They just don't want to work for it. Boys, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but professional wrestling, this isn't ballet. You want to say, oh, oh God, oh, I'm hurt. I'm so, oh, I can't do this right now, I'm hurt. Hit, no, 
professional wrestling. You are hurt, you get up, you do it again. And then they want to gripe and complain about drama and all the other bullshit that happens. Here's the thing, guys. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You're living a dream. That very, you're living a dream at such an age, at such a young age, where most people won't ever get to do this. You're living a dream. Stop bitching. What's the point? You're doing what you want to do. Why are you complaining about every little thing? And then we get back to the complaining of why they're not at the top, why they're not the main event, why they aren't the champion, why they aren't the man. Here's why. You don't work for it. And then you get such a big ego when I compliment you or we say, yeah, that was good. And then you think you're God's given gift to professional wrestling. No, you're not. Just because we compliment you and we say that was a good match, that's that's trying to convince you to work harder. If we say no, that's a bad match. That was complete shit. With your unstable self-esteem, you can't say that. You can't say that because you'll break down, you'll cry, and you'll just quit. Like everyone quits everything that they do nowadays. The problem is, is that everyone's a quitter or they don't work. They either quit or they're lazy, and that's the problem. I am done with the nonsense. Pick your asses up off the ground, do your work. I am tired of making excuses for all of you. I am tired for using, for using all of my time and energy on all of you. Do your job. Get shit done. Get it done. Thank you for all of your time. T-R-I.